Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 515. If you're watching these videos as they're released every week at moresolutionsinc.com, happy 4th of July. I hope you enjoyed the long Independence Day weekend. I'm going to do something a bit different this time. Rather than show you how to do something, I'm going to do it and then back up and show you how I did it, if that makes any sense. What we're going to do is we're going to play a tour. And all a tour is, is we're going to play a set of scenes, the different views of the map that we've created over the last couple of Excel videos. And we'll play that tour. And it looks a bit like, it's, it's not as fancy as PowerPoint. Don't get your hopes up. But you can animate a bit and you can create kind of a slideshow. Well, let me show you. Let's play the tour. We'll, we're at the first slide. So I can either play the tour from here or there's a play button that will start the tour from this scene. This drop down will let you play from the beginning or from the current scene. We'll get there either way. Let's just start. So this is a tour, and notice how I'm moving around in the tour. The, the map's changing. This is called flyover. That's the, the effect that this is now. Now we're going to switch to the next scene, and this is called push in. See how we're zooming in a bit, and then we're going to pull out. Also notice this chart over here on the side. Notice a text box here. Where I've added a text box. This effect here is called circle, as we're kind of circling around the data, especially helpful if you've got tall bars and you've got to see your way around. This one's called dolly. And then notice what I'm doing. I used to be in Utah, and now watch what happens as I zoom over. Now I'm in the Miami area, South Florida. And here are the population of the zip codes here. Let's play it one more time and walk through it. So here is the first effect. This is flyover. And notice the scenes are five seconds long. We can control how long they are. And I've got a chart inside my map here. Again, this is called push in. This is circle. Notice again with the tall data bars, it's easy to circle and kind of get a different perspective on your data. This one's called Dolly. And notice how I can leave a legend on there as well. And then I'm going to zoom to a different part of the country and do a different analysis. I'm going to escape to get out of there. And let's show you how I did it. What I have is I have five scenes. I had the four scenes we started with, and then I added some data in South Florida just so you could watch the map move from Utah to South Florida. And then for each of these scenes here, let's just do the first one. There we go. There are scene options that I can get from here or this gear menu. I'll get the same place either way. Two things that you can do. You can change the duration of the scene. We've changed the name all CMS time. We did that in the last Excel video we can change the duration or how long is this map on the screen? This, how long is this scene on the screen? That's the scene duration. And then what you can do is do effects. So this is the flyover effect. Here's a drop down. No effect says I'm just going to transfer from one to the next without you know, rotating the map or anything. We did circle and dolly and I think we did flyover and push in and then rotate globe at the very end. But the way these effects work is when you're done with the scene, then the effect happens and transitions you to the next scene. So there's no transition starting you on, on the first scene. But after that, you can have a transition between each one, and you can choose how long the transition lasts. You can choose which effect you use. And this effect distance will let you play a bit, depending on which one you do, with the magnitude or how dramatic the change is in the transition. That's what I wanted to show you today, how the scene options worked and how I used that to kind of animate my tour a bit. We'll talk more about tours and the options to create a video and some of these in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.